My name is Heather McBain of Fuji Apple Learning, presenting Halloween Facts. The holiday of Halloween is often described as being a commercial holiday, meaning that it isn't real and is just intended to make businesses money. But that's simply not true at all. The truth is that Halloween is based on several old pagan traditions from different parts of the world. The Celtic celebration of Halloween is called Samhain. It is a harvest celebration that marked the end of the harvesting season. Also, it is believed that at this time of the year, the veil between the world of the living and the world of the dead is thinned, which allows ghosts or spirits to interact with people. The Roman pagans also have a celebration in late October in which they honor their dead and worship Pomona, the goddess of fruit and trees that were harvested for food. There is also the Day of the Dead, which is celebrated primarily in Mexico, but can be found in many Hispanic countries. Certainly, the Bruja are about during this multiple day holiday that celebrates the deceased. Although we have fun with it today, in ancient times, dressing up in costume on Halloween was serious business. Celtic and European pagans dressed up at this time of the year in order to hide themselves from potentially angry spirits. They even put food and drinks outside to keep the ghosts out of their homes. Even the jack-o'-lantern has an old Celtic pagan story attached to it. Stringy Jack was a grumpy old drunk who liked to play mean tricks on people. After his death, the people carved angry faces into hollowed out turnips and placed a bit of burning coal in them to scare away Jack and other mean spirits. When the Celts came to the United States, they began using pumpkins for the same purpose. Did you think trick-or-treating was about getting candy and showing off your costume? It's actually based off an old European tradition called souling. The poor and hungry would go door to door asking for food in exchange for prayers. Black cats are extra spooky on Halloween. That's because some Celtic pagans would use cats as a form of divination and discover what the next year would bring for them. For the Celtic pagans, as well as many others, Samhain marked the start of the new year. Bonfires are popular this time of the year as well, but before you get your marshmallows out, you should know that they used to be called bone fires. As the days grow darker, the Celtic pagan priests and priestesses would light huge fires and throw the unused bones of cattle and other animals into it. This was to remind the people that the sun would rise again and daylight would become longer and longer at Yule. In Scotland, the Pictish people had an interesting form of divination used at this time of the year, in which young women would hang wet sheets in front of a fire in order to see the face of their future husband. Bobbing for apples sounds like fun, if you like sticking your head in a bucket of water, but even this Celtic tradition has an old form of divination tied to it. At this time of the year, young women would peel apples and toss one strip over their shoulder. When the strip landed, it would curl itself into the first initial of the man they would marry. When they came to the United States, this divination technique evolved into a bucket of water and apples. The first to get an apple out without using their hands would be the first to marry. As you now know, the holiday of Halloween has a far deeper meaning than just being a commercial holiday or fun entertainment. Halloween is a celebration of harvests, family and friends, the year to come, marriages, and of the departed. Thank you for watching Fuji Apple Learning with Heather McBain.